Hi everyone, Christy from Shark Pixel here, and I'm thrilled to be joining the crew again for the second Photoshop Virtual Summit. This time, I'm going to be talking all about hair retouching because let's face it, it's one of the most frustrating things to do in Photoshop, and I can attest to that. So both of my courses for this virtual summit are going to be devoted to hair retouching. So before I get started, I wanna give you a little hair retouching tip so that you guys can see the type of stuff that we are going to be focusing on in the actual courses. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So we, here we have an image that I have just downloaded from Adobe Stock. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you the difference between one very integral command in Photoshop. It's step one for any type of hair retouching. That's going to be the select subject command. But the reason why I want to bring more attention to it is because it has just been updated in Photoshop 2020. So what I'm going to do is I have the exact same image up in Photoshop 2019. So I'll start by just going to the select and choose select subject in 2019. And that's going to go ahead and select our subject. And then I'm just going to add an adjustment layer by clicking the hue saturation adjustment layer icon. And let's look at what we were able to get with this command straight out of the box in Photoshop 2019. Look at the edges. You can see that they are rudimentary at best. They're not very detailed in any way. They don't really incorporate in the hair. And again, if I use my backslash button to enter quick mask mode, you can see the edge of the mask that was created. So guys, it's not really the best mask. So let's see what it looks like if we do the exact same command in Photoshop 2020. So let's hop on over to Photoshop 2020. I'm going to choose the exact same command, select subject. It's gonna think a minute. Then I'm going to add the exact same hue saturation adjustment layer to activate my mask. I'll hold down Option or Alt and click on the layer mask icon. Look at that. Um, I don't know about you, but that mask is so much better, so much more detailed and such a better starting place than the mask that we originally had in Photoshop 2019. Look at all those white spots that were missed. So when you are working with your Photoshop, allow Photoshop to do the heavy lifting for you, especially as Photoshop gets smarter and smarter. So for this example specifically, what Photoshop has done is they have incorporated in not only the first AI select subject command, but then they have an added layer of AI detective work to figure out if the item that they are selecting when you tell Photoshop to select a subject, if that item in the photograph has hair. And if it has hair, it's going to apply a secondary, um, a secondary run through around the edges of the image, around the edges of that subject that allow it to give a much more intricate selection right out of the box. So all the more reason for you guys to use the new Adobe Sensei AI technology that's being rolled out in all of the tools. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tip. If you like this and you're interested in learning a ton more about hair retouching, check out my classes on the Photoshop Virtual Summit. See you soon.